I'm a big proponent of, you know, the, the phrase proof is in the pudding essentially. And I think that's relevant here because again, yeah, you're offering a free trial. People and businesses can see firsthand how it works and, and let the benefits sort of speak for themselves. So can you just talk about this and how it offers, uh, how it helps companies sort of get started with this whole modern endpoint management system you have? Uh, yeah, great question. Uh, glad you asked about that. Uh, there's uh, often some confusion around the free models or freemium models, what they call, uh, especially when uh, vendors have offered limited free trials in the past or uh, you know, some crippled uh, editions of the fully functional pro product. Uh, but our approach with the first free 200 endpoints is very different, uh, if not radical. Uh, it's not a trial. It's not a, a light version with restricted functionality. It's an entirely free tier that gives every organization or even an individual uh, the full Action One platform exactly the same robust product that our large enterprise clients use for up to 200 endpoints, uh, absolutely free forever. And there's absolutely no catch. Uh, this model, uh, it's, it's, it's different for a variety of re reasons. So for small businesses, uh, it means you get access to modern cloud-based endpoint management without having to invest heavily upfront. It's just be basically just zero. Like you don't need, even need a credit card to sign up. You can deploy the same technology that large enterprises trust to secure and manage, uh, your endpoints at and at no cost for those initial devices. Uh, it's like, it, it's, it just gets rid of this huge barrier to entry, especially for companies that might be on a tight budget, but still need strong security and compliance uh, capabilities because, because everybody needs those these days. Uh, for managed service providers, MSBs uh, operating on, in budget limited situations, especially that small st MSP startups, uh, this, free tier is especially valuable. It allows you to get started with a fully functional platform, prove its value to your clients, and eventually scale up as needed without incurring any initial costs. And even uh, large enterprises can benefit from it. It's a, it's a fantastic way to try out Action One risk-free to see firsthand how, how it simplifies patch management and enhances security before deciding to integrate it fully or scale beyond the, the 200 endpoints threshold. Because because they, they even if you're super large, like 100,000, 200,000 endpoints, uh, you, you can deploy it on the, you know, in, in a smaller, you know, in your branch office, just to give it a, give it a run, see, see how it operates and, 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 and then, then scale it. In essence, uh, this uh, free for the first 200 endpoints model is designed to let you experience the modern endpoint management in its full capacity. You're not being limited to a demo or restricted feature set. You're you're getting the complete package. This it, it, this approach, uh, I think, it not only builds trust in our platform, but also it helps organizations start their journey toward more efficient, secure, and automated endpoint management without a hefty initial investment. It, and as you grow, as your needs evolve, you're, you, you'll already have a solid foundation in place. And we, we so strongly believe in our product that you, when you, when you sign up for action one, you just go to the website, you don't even hop, have to talk to a live person. You just, you just get in pretty much instantly, put in your email address and, and you're in. And, uh, and if you want to use it for up to 200 employees, that's it. It, it. You're on your own. You, 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 again, we want everyone to use it. That, that's why we made it so, so simple. Yeah, no, I love, I, I wish every service had an offering like this because I, uh, you know, trials are one thing I, I mentioned. It's sort of like a trial, but it's really not because a trial indicates, a, a, a it expires after, after a certain period of time. And this is, uh, this is a little bit more, uh, freeing in the sense of you get 200 endpoints, uh, you can really get a full, a full experience of like how this works for you and your needs. Um, and yeah, I just think, I think it's great. So I'm, I very supportive of this. Um, uh, I, I want to say, I want to kind of also talk about again, like the autonomous aspect. that's a big buzzword for your company or for, for autonomous endpoint management. Um, this kind of gets us into the world of artificial intelligence and like what's, what's coming. 
down the pipeline. So I'm just curious, and you and you have mentioned agent takeover prevention is sort of this sort of a newer feature product offering of yours. Um, what up, what upcoming features do you have in the works for for customers? Um, looking ahead, we're uh, well, we're really excited about what what's coming next for for Action One. This uh, one of the uh, biggest innovations, you know, the that the one that I've already mentioned is the uh, agent takeover prevention and. Uh, it's a it's a huge step uh, forward to uh, that. E it's a it's a, that assurance that even uh, if our cloud infrastructure were ever compromised, the agents in your environment would simply refuse to execute any uh, unauthorized commands. This extra layer of protection is something we're particularly proud of, and it sets the stage for a much more resilient uh, security model. But that, that's just the beginning. We're you know we're expanding our platforms uh, cross platform capabilities. Uh, one of the of our key priorities uh, is to support uh, Linux, uh, which is sig a significant win for organizations running uh, diverse uh, environments that have a mix like Windows, Mac, Linux. Uh, beyond that, we're adding more um, enterprise grade features. Well, in, when I say enterprise grade, yeah, those are being asked by larger enterprises, but uh, any business, like w when we start looking, like when we introduce something that was, we think would only be used by, by a lot la la larger enterprise, we, then we find out, oh, it's actually, it's actually this, and it could be an essential feature for, for much smaller companies as well. And uh, it, the, because they, they just make the platform even more robust and, you know, think about things like uh, roles-based access controls that uh, to allow for more uh, granular permissions uh, management so that, every user in your organization gets exactly the access they need without any unnecessary risk and integration is another big focus we're uh, working on uh, tighter integrations with systems like you know service now uh, which can streamline workflows and help uh, bring endpoint management into the broader it ecosystem additionally we're looking at integrations with uh, vulnerability management tools like uh, Rapid7 and Tenable. Well, well it's, what's, what's interesting is that we do have, uh, even without our knowledge, without any uh, cooperation from our end, some of, some of these companies like Rapid7 just recently uh, created uh, an, an integration with Action One because I think it's one of their, uh, I, I think it's not just one, it's a multitude of their customers who wanted this. and. Uh, another one uh, a few months before uh, was uh, Axonius, another company that just like just out of the blue, just we find out, oh, there's a, there's an like our customer tells us that uh, Action One is already integrated with with Axonius. It's like wow, wonderful. Um, but you know, by connecting these dots, because we you have you can't like live on your own island. We aim to create a more holistic security solution that uh, not only patches and protects you, but also give you gives you uh, deeper insights into your overall security posture. And, and I think what's uh, really important is our roadmap is driven by uh, real user feedback so much that our public roadmap lists nearly 500 features directly uh, related to patching. And, uh, and that number isn't just a just a metric it's a it's a testament to our commitment to addressing the real world challenges our customers face we use a very data driven approach to prioritize the what we work on next uh, and to make sure that every feature we develop delivers tangible value without um, spreading ourselves too thin we remain laser focused on patching because we know that effective patch management is at the heart of keeping systems secure and compliant. Uh, that's pretty much what we do. Yeah, it's very true. Well, that's, that's a lot of, there's a lot of exciting developments there. I appreciate you kind of uh, breaking that down and then um, just sort of, it, it sheds a light on the future of where this space is going, uh, which I always find interesting from an industry perspective to try to predict the future. Um, especially with all these, yeah, autonomous uh, developments. Now, if uh, for all the IT people listening to this podcast, maybe looking to modernize how they manage company devices, uh, what what should they do? You know, where where should they start? What is there any like solution or advice that comes to mind? Well, yeah, absolutely. Uh, here's uh, here's what 
I'd say for IT leaders looking to modernize their uh, uh, management practices. First off, it's um, important to embrace modern approaches that don't don't force you to reconfigure your entire network or expose your systems to new risks. Today's solutions are designed to integrate seamlessly with your existing infrastructure. So instead of having to invest in, a, in additional hardware or complicated network adjustments, look for a cloud-based platform that, that just works out of the box. This not only minimizes setup headaches, but also uh, ensures that you're not inadvertently opening up uh, new security vulnerabilities. And uh, next, uh, I think automation is key. Uh, manual processes like patching, device management, uh, they're, they're not only time consuming, but also prone to human error. Modern um, uh, IT management solutions need to offer intelligent automation that uh, handles routine tasks like patch deployment or, or compliance checks or uh, what have you. Uh, with a solid automated system in place, you free up your IT team to focus on uh, more strategic initiatives rather than getting bogged down with uh, in repetitive manual work. This isn't about relinquishing control. It's about leveraging technology to ensure uh, that everything is done quickly, correctly, every time. And the simplicity of use is another cr crucial factor. The fewer products and, and tools you need to juggle, the, the better. And a consolidated, easy to use platform or limited to maybe a, a, a handful of platforms, but but like not like some, I think Gartner's estimate is like a typical enterprise is using over a hundred uh, different uh, tools in the cybersecurity arsenal. But uh, something that's more consolidated and easy to use means less integration complexity, you know, lower chance for misconfigurations or oversights. And when you streamline your tool set, you reduce not, not just reduce the operational overhead, but like you, you just reduce the risk of errors that can lead to downtime or security issues.